Hi everyone, you know that I bought this Dark Paw Adip robot a while back for my Raspberry Pi. So today I'm gonna follow the instructions on their website to configure my Raspberry Pis to use the Adip software. Not sure how much force I have to apply. Oh, there's a lag. So they have it, the instructions for SSH. I'm going to be doing the installation of the files directly using the GUI of the Raspberry Pi so you guys can see at the same time, sorry for that. So let's begin. What it first says is we'll need to clone a repository from Git. So you start by opening up Chrome. Let's see, GitHub. And here, you're gonna try to go inside. Can I just go? Search GitHub and type uh, a deep Let's start dark. Uh, this is the name of the repository. I'm gonna see if I could just simply search for it. And of course, it's the first one here. And you can see that some people already cloned it. So let's see. So this is the repository that we're gonna have to clone. Copy this link, open the terminal, And in the terminal, we're going to create a folder. I fear this will be easier. Under documents. And here, so you see it real time. If I type cd ls, oh, uh, ls document sorry I was thinking too much things it is at the same time okay dear and we're going to create a folder called github and then I'm going to see you into the folder and we're going to type the command git clone and we're going to paste control c can do that no paste the link that we copied from the repository remember it's here click on this it'll copy it and if i go into my github folder you see it's empty I'm going to click enter. It's going to download the repository files. You see that I have a deep dark paw created into my GitHub folder. The next step in the instructions is, let's see. We're going to have to run a Python script to install the dependencies. It's a good practice to see what your running uh, to see what's in the Python script before you run it. This way you know what's to expect and you won't get bad things happening. So it's doing a lot of pseudo commands. Hmm. That's not that bad. It's just running a GitHub it's just cloning some repositories, installing some applications. I am not sure if I see something hazardous anywhere, so I'm just gonna run it. So I'm gonna do 
sudo python 3 and then the file name. If you type adit.pa with a tab, it'll go in, put in that folder name directly and then set up. This is not promising. It's trying to download something called Simple Luma OLED. I can't find it. is no longer found. If you look at the corner here. So I'm going to reboot my Raspberry Pi. I'm not sure if it's because it's too hot or something. So we're back online. Let's see. This is not going as planned. So my Wi-Fi is back online, as you see. I don't know why it disappeared. That command again. Don't Hopefully it works this time, and my Wi-Fi doesn't uh, disconnect. What I'm going to do is get in, I'm going to install the camera and install the hat. You see that there's a slot here. Apparently the cable for the camera is supposed to go right in like this. So we're going to try to do that. I don't know which side is the proper way, but I can see that the white side is here. So I'm, I would assume that this side is for the white side on the Raspberry Pi as well. So we're going to feed it through in, uh, through the hole here. Once we have that, I'm going to take this and slip it into this slot here. You see it's for the camera. I'm not sure how much force I have to apply. Just, 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 just
Ich sage nichts mehr. I'm playing way more force than I'm comfortable with, to be honest. We need to switch. Oh, there you go. I have to pull it out. Pull it out and then slide this in. And I should be able to push this back in and lock it. Okay, it's locked. And then the module itself. The only interface I see that needs to be connected are the GPI opens, so I'm gonna simply align them and press it in like this. So that is installed. And now I'm going to have this like this and plug in my power supply. This is a new, uh, something new from the, um, from the message screen. It's saying it's serving a Flask app and lazy loading. And I've used Flask before. This is a um, web server framework that allows you to serve to the internet or serve a HTTP protocol. So this is new and I think it's from the automatic script that's supposed to run. And it's waiting for connection. So the Raspberry Pi is actually waiting for someone to connect to it. And I would assume that we cannot do this through the terminal because the terminal is currently used up by Flask. So we're gonna go back to my Windows computer here and follow the instructions that follow, which say I need to find my IP address and connect to the port 5000. I'm gonna do that. Enter. And as you can see, there's a response from the Raspberry Pi. And you can see my hand, hopefully. Oh, it's not screen. Oh, there's a lag. There's, here is my hand. You see it in the webcam that's being showed on the web page. Can you see that it's the Adipbot controller? So hopefully everything is, is installed properly. And I can move this to check my monitor. Fun. All right, that's it for today, or that's it for this video. And I'm, I'm going to go through the assembly tutorial later on to see how I'm going to assemble the robot. Ciao.